Good afternoon YouTube viewers and subscribers. Today on the bench I've got the head off of a Sato 80 engine here and I've got a few other items. Now there's an awesome gentleman uh, his name is Lars and he lives in Sweden who contacted me a week or two ago and uh, offered to send me a tool that he's created to remove the valves from a Sato engine. So I was like, sure Lars, that's great, you know, go ahead and send it to me and let's see what happens, let's see how it works. So I have this tool today, it just arrived. I've got, I just so happen to be in the middle of a rebuild of this engine and I told Lars I was going to hold off putting this engine back together. I've got the bearings and everything ready, but I left this engine apart just so I could do a video and experiment using his Sato, um, his tool that he created to remove valves. And I've also got the tools that I normally use to do a Sato valve removal. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use his tool on one valve and then compare it with the means and the method that I use on the other valve and we'll see. I'm not going to sh share an opinion either way. I want the viewers and subscribers to share with their opinion of this. So what we've got in this bag is it looks like a modified box end wrench opened up maybe enough so that it'll go over the spring uh, keeper so you can depress that and then this is the tool so the concept here is that this looks like a brass piece of brass tubing and it's threaded probably quarter 32 to go in the glow plug hole and then this portion is going to hold the valve while you lock it in place with this so I've never really tried this before, but I'm just going by what this looks like. So let's give this a shot and see. So here's my engine with the valves in installed. I'm going to do the exhaust valve here. So I'm going to kind of feed this down in here and very gently screw this in place. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I've got this thing screwed in place. Now what I can do here is, uh, I was going to do the exhaust valve. What I'm going to do here is position this thing such that, let me zoom in a hair here and see, such that that's contacting the valve, but I also have to, um, Hold, hold up on that so I can actually secure this thing so let me do this I'm holding pressure on that end of this tool to lock this thing in place so theoretically that should have the valve locked in place here come out just a hair here okay so now and I am going to still use my magnet to grab this keeper so now we'll just uh, Depress this. Okay, so my impression is that this hole is just not quite big enough. I did get the keeper off, <coughs> and I can pull this valve off. So the spring keeper is off. Now I can loosen this guy up. So I don't think I wanted to remove that all the way, but I did. Unscrew this guy. Hopefully these valves will just drop right out. And there's our exhaust valve. Okay, so that's using Lars's tool right there. 
Now, the tools that I normally use are these things. A quarter inch box end wrench, a small piece of paper towel, and my wrench. So here's what I do. I just wad this thing up. Stuff that thing up there so it's nice and tight. And then just do this. This part basically the same, you just get the keeper to come off. And you catch it with the catch it with the magnet so it doesn't go flying all over the place. But both of these keepers are kind of giving me trouble today. Let me try and use this thing here. off and there's my keeper and then I just go up in here pull my and that valves out too so both of these little retaining clips were giving me some trouble today but that's basically all there is to the valve removal using each of these tools you know, make sure I don't miss that lose that retainer so that's Lars's tool, and then these were mine. So I'll let you guys decide, uh, you know, which one seems to be the better one, or they're both the same. Either way, the end result is you get the valves out of the head, and that's really what we're looking for. So thank you very much, Lars, for this tool. I'm going to put it in my toolbox and use it any other time I have another Sato engine to uh, remove the valves on. So thank you all for watching.